Oscar, this incident has sparked outrage around the world. There are calls this morning to boycott your brand. What did you think when you saw that video of a man being dragged off of one of your planes? Oh, good morning, and thank you for having me. Um, it's not so much what I thought, it's what I felt. Probably the word ashamed comes to mind. You know, as I think about our business and our people, um, the first thing I think is important to say is to apologize to Dr. Dow, um, his family, uh, the passengers on that flight, our customers, our employees. That is not who our family at United is. And you saw us at a bad moment. And this can never, will never happen again on a United Airlines flight. That's my premise and that's my promise. Why not communicate that shame, as you call it initially? In your initial apology, in your initial statement, you apologized for reaccommodating passengers. And in your internal notes to your employees, you talked about a belligerent and disruptive passenger. Why did it take until Tuesday to offer a more full-hearted apology? I think my first uh, reaction to most issues is to get the facts and circumstances. And uh, the initial, my initial words fell short of truly expressing what we were feeling. And that's something that I've learned from. Uh, the expression of apology and specific to the folks I mentioned before uh, is an important part of a conversation like this because, again, that shame and embarrassment was pretty palpable for me and for a lot of our family. You said this will never happen again. What will you be doing to ensure that promise? Well, as I've, as I've outlined uh, in uh, some of my messaging is really around reviewing a fairly deep and thorough review of a lot of our policies that support this. Um, specifically, if I were to be here today as I am, I would tell you that the use of law enforcement aboard an aircraft uh, has to be looked at very carefully. They're clearly there for a purpose of safety, and we want to make sure they, you know, they, they protect us. But for other reasons, I think that's a policy we have to absolutely relook at. What went wrong in this scenario? It was a system failure. We have not provided our frontline supervisors and managers and individuals with the proper tools, policies, procedures that allow them to use their common sense. They all have an incredible amount of common sense. And this issue could have been solved by that. That's on me. I have to fix that. And I think that's something that we can do. What needs to change here specifically? Because if you look at the policy, and a lot of people learned this week through this story and are surprised to learn that in the fine print, you can be asked to leave a flight involuntarily without any compensation as you decide it. What needs specifically to change here? Were those flight attendants, were those employees of United, were they not enabled to offer people more money to voluntarily leave that flight? I, I think, uh, again, back to the broader system issue, I think there's many of those points that I think we need to relook at. Uh, there is an incentive program that works pretty well outside of the gate. Clearly, when you get into an airplane and you're boarded and you're luggage and you're situated, your incentive model needs to change. And I think that's one of the policies that we'll look at. Um, we do empower our frontline folks to a degree, but again, we need to expand and adjust those policies to, again, allow a little bit more common sense. In the future, if no one voluntarily decides to leave a plane based on the amount of money that United is offering, we're will not, United... We're not going to put a law enforcement official to take them off the A airplane. law enforcement official will never come on one of your planes again. To remove a booked, paid, seating, pass, seating passenger? We can't do that. Have you spoken to Dr. Dow? I have not. I have reached out to him and have left a message, and our team has tried to reach him on several occasions. We've not been able to contact him directly. I do look forward to a time when I can, as much as I'm able, to apologize directly to him for what's, what's happened. What do you think he deserves in all of this? Well, certainly an apology, and at, from that point on, I think we'll have to see. Do you think he's at fault in any way? 
I, no, he can't be. He was a pain passenger sitting on our seat in our, in our, in our aircraft. And no one should be treated that way, period. There are a number of PR professionals who believe that this was handled improperly by you and your company. And some are even calling for you to resign. Have you considered that option? No. Uh, I was hired to make United better, and we've been doing that, and that's what I'll continue to do. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.